Hey guys, welcome to your 10th World of War mod menu based scripting tutorial. This tutorial we're going to be making a requested scrolling bar for the instructions on how to use your mod menu um, once they open the mod menu. So to do this we're just going to create a new function first of all and we're just going to call it show instructions doesn't need any parameters and we're going to end on menu close and now we're just going to put um, first of all we're going to because we're going to make it a scrolling bar then we need the um, the coordinate for the x axis to change like ev after every second or whatever you want so we're just going to create a new variable to store our um, x value so let's just call it x val equals zero and now we're going to put for x val um, sorry because we've already made it then while x val is less than let's just put 300 for the uh, finishing width and then no, no, let's put eight, uh, 700 I don't actually know what the correct number would be but anyway so now we're going to put um, we're going to create a new font string for our text sorry uh, anyway so yeah uh, let's just put instructions equals create font string font as objective the size is 1.5 and it's for self don't forget the semicolon and then instructions set point center center now we need the x which is just going to be x value because that's going to be constantly changing and then the y we're just going to put to 250 which is I think somewhere near the bottom hopefully and now we're going to set the text so instructions set text and this is obviously where we're going to put the uh, the actual text that's going to show up for the instructions now to put uh, special buttons I always actually get confused on this bit but I believe it's a square bracket followed by a curly brace and then we're going to put the melee button so I believe it's plus melee curly brace square bracket toggle menu and then we'll just put do that again and go stand I believe is the use button so we'll just put um, select option plus reload no we don't have anything on reload, do we? Uh, what else is it? Plus attack. I don't actually know if this is going to work, but I hope it is, so... Yeah. Um, scroll. Okay. So, that's what our instructions are going to be. And we'll just make it all blue. Okay, and now we're just going to put wait 0.2. So it's going to wait 0.2 of one second. So 0.2 seconds. And then it's going to increase the x value by 1. So plus plus. And then it's going to run it again and again and so on. So basically, it's going to set the new variable x value equals 0. And while that variable is less than 700, which is where it's going to finish on the uh, scrolling, and then it's going to create a new variable called instructions, which is our text. And then it's going to wait 0.2 of a second, and then add one to x value, and then do it all over again until x value reaches 700. Naturally, we're just going to set that to 0.1 because I think 0.2 might go a bit slow. And then once that's happened, then you're going to want to reset it back to x value equals zero. 
and we're also just going to put this in a for loop so that it constantly loops and hopefully that should be okay so now we're going to just make it um, actually we're just going to give it a background so in our for loop oh actually we need to also destroy it so we're going to put just here destroy wait instructions no no we'll create another one just in case so destroy wait instructions with instructions and then we'll call it just after the wait self notify destroy instructions create this lm as the parameter self wait till destroy instructions self no not self lm destroy Okay, so uh, you should know what that does from the other part that we did earlier for the actual menu. So now that I've done that, hopefully that should be okay. So now we're just going to go ahead and actually make it run. So in our button listen function, on our toggle menu button, which is melee, then we're going to check if they've just opened the menu, which is just here, and if they have, well, we can actually get rid of this because we don't need that anymore. Then we can self thread. Um, what was it? Was it? Yeah. Show instructions. And then, if they've just closed the menu, so self dot menu open equals equals false. Then we're gonna notify menu close. I believe it was. So show instructions menu closed. Show instructions menu closed. Yep, okay, so when they open the menu, and this is going to get ran, and then when they close it, that's going to get notified, which is going to stop this from running. So that should be it, so let's go ahead and test it out. Right guys, so it works, and doesn't throw any errors, apart from there are a couple of things that we didn't do perfectly. The first thing is, we're making the actual function stop running when we close our menu, but we're not making it destroy the text that was already created. So we just need to simply self-notify destroy instructions on closing our menu. The next thing is we don't need this uh, resetting the value just here because we've already reset it just here just before we run the actual loop. Um, we're also setting the value to zero which is actually the center of the screen um, which I want mine to go from the full left of the screen to the full right. So we're just going to make it minus 350, because that's pretty much the full left. And then going up to 350, which is pretty much the full right. And then here, you need to change the uh, Y coordinate of the text, because it was a bit too far down to actually show on the screen. So I just changed that to 200. These two buttons didn't work, so I actually don't know what the codes are for them. You can check down in the description for if I've already added them to the description for you to use. But for now, just put these two buttons just here, just so that it shows what they are. Well, that's for PS3. Uh, it, it depends whatever you're making it for. So I'll just put shoot slash aim. Go stand, I'm not sure whether that actually worked, but we'll just put use, because we actually need, need to use the use button instead of go stand. Merely did work. Here we're not actually self-threading it, which we need to. We were just threading it before. So just add self-thread to the beginning of that. And other than that, I think it should be fully working. Um, the only other thing is to change the actual speed that it scrolls. You can either make the wait longer, so that it's going to wait longer before it pluses one on, or pluses uh, whatever onto the value. Or you can change the amount that it pluses onto the value by. So I'm just going to make it plus 5, so it adds 5, which is essentially going to be 5 pixels um, onto the screen or whatever. So yeah, so that's pretty much it, so let's go ahead and test it out. Alright guys, 
So, hopefully we should have done everything correctly now. So, if we just go ahead and toggle our menu on, and you can see that it spawns in the text. And, use hasn't worked, but you can see that melee has worked. So, just go ahead and change the use thing. Oh, and it's actually because I put the brackets in wrong, as you can see. Uh, it should be a curly brace followed by a square bracket, and I put a square bracket followed by a normal bracket. So yeah, just make sure that you put that right, and it could work. If it doesn't, and it says, like, um, unbound or something, then just go ahead and change it to whatever you want. So, like, just put um, square for PS3, it's the use button, or I think it's um, X, possibly, for the um, Xbox. So yeah, uh, other than that, it's fully working. If we go off the menu, then you can see the destroyers and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video, if you did feel free to leave a like and support the series, and subscribe for more, so thanks for watching, see ya.